In the ever-evolving world of technology, there's one name that never fails to grab attention. Apple. A company that built its empire on design perfection, silent innovation, and an almost obsessive commitment to performance. But now, in 2025, the attention of tech insiders, industry analysts, and die-hard Apple fans has shifted towards something small, quiet, and incredibly powerful. The upcoming M5 Mac Mini. It's not just another update, not just another refresh. This tiny machine, according to leaks, whispers, and well-connected insiders could mark the most dramatic leap in the Mac Mini's history, blurring the line between a compact desktop and a full-fledged professional workstation. And if even half of what's being reported turns out to be true, then what Apple is preparing behind closed doors might just rewrite the definition of what a mini-computer can do. Because this time, the story isn't just about faster chips or prettier designs, it's about Apple redefining the future of desktop computing itself. The first hints started trickling out months ago. Reports from Cupertino suggested that Apple's engineering teams were testing early prototypes of the M5 chip, the fifth generation of Apple Silicon, built on TSMC's next-generation 3-nanometer architecture, a chip designed not only for speed but for intelligence. Early insider descriptions painted a picture of a chip capable of performing advanced machine learning tasks, real-time rendering, and AI-driven workflows, all locally, Without the need for cloud processing, the idea was simple but bold. Create a desktop that's not just fast but smart, a system that understands what you're doing, anticipates what you'll need next, and optimizes itself for the task at hand. Imagine a Mac Mini that can analyze your workflow, detect when you're editing 8K footage, coding massive projects or running AI models, and automatically reallocate performance cores, GPU power, and memory bandwidth to keep everything perfectly balanced. That's what's rumored to be coming with the M5 generation, not just a hardware upgrade, but an evolution in how the Mac thinks. Now, one of the biggest leaks that set the community on fire came from a source close to the Apple supply chain. According to them, Apple has been testing not one, but two distinct versions of the new Mac Mini, the standard M5 Mac Mini, and a higher-end M5 Pro variant built for creative professionals and developers. Both models are said to feature the new M5 chip family but with different GPU and CPU configurations, offering scalability similar to the M2 and M2 Pro lineup. Except this time, the performance gap between them is rumored to be massive. The base M5 is expected to outperform the M4 Pro by a significant margin, while the M5 Pro could deliver performance levels comparable to the current M3 Max and the MacBook Pro, but in a smaller, cooler, and far more affordable desktop body. It's the kind of performance leap that would make even Mac Studio owners raise an eyebrow. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. There's growing speculation that Apple might be testing an ultra variant, internally referred to as J575X, that uses the company's ultrafusion architecture to combine two M5 Max dies into a single beastly chip. If that's true, this could give the M5 Mac Mini Ultra up to 24 CPU cores, 80 GPU cores, and an upgraded neural engine capable of handling up to 60 trillion operations per second all in a form factor that fits in the palm of your hand. Design-wise, whispers from Apple's design labs point toward a subtle yet meaningful evolution. The upcoming Mac Mini could feature a thinner, sleeker chassis, milled from a new recycled aluminum alloy that's both lighter and thermally superior. Some insiders claim Apple has been experimenting with two-tone finishes, matte silver and midnight black, to give the device a modern, stealthy appeal. The top surface might transition from glossy to a micro-textured matte, reducing fingerprints and reflections, while vents could be repositioned for more efficient cooling without increasing noise levels. Apple's engineers reportedly developed a new, low-profile cooling module that uses vapor chamber technology, something previously reserved for high-end laptops and consoles, allowing sustained peak performance with near-silent operation. So even when you're rendering massive 3D scenes or training AI models, the system stays whisper quiet, maintaining that signature Apple calm. And that's part of what makes this so intriguing. Because every time Apple shrinks the hardware footprint, they somehow manage to make it feel more powerful, more intentional. The M5 Mac Mini seems to be the perfect embodiment of that philosophy. Less volume, more velocity. But power and design are just the start. What's coming with the M5 Mac Mini might be far more transformative, because this time, it's not just about silicon, it's about intelligence. Apple's new operating system, macOS 16, 
is expected to debut alongside the M5 lineup, and it's rumored to feature the deepest integration yet with Apple Intelligence, the company's on-device AI framework. This means the M5 Mac Mini will be able to handle tasks like real-time video upscaling, content generation, document summarization, and advanced photo editing directly on the machine. No cloud, no lag, no data compromise. It could also serve as the perfect testbed for developers building AI applications optimized for Apple's neural engine. Early leaks even suggest that the M5 architecture includes a re-engineered Neural Engine Ultra, a subsystem dedicated to AI acceleration, boasting twice the power efficiency of its predecessor. Combined with Apple's unified memory architecture, this could allow massive AI models to run smoothly without external GPUs or complex setups. And that brings us to a fascinating new angle, one that could change how people view the Mac Mini forever. Insiders familiar with Apple's strategy claim that the company wants to position the M5 Mac Mini as the AI desktop for everyone. A compact yet powerful hub that lets creators, coders, and even small studios run demanding AI workflows locally. Think about it. A $590 desktop that can train, test, and deploy machine learning models right out of the box, powered by Apple's own neural engine. That's not just evolution. That's disruption. It's a move that could make the Mac Mini not just a supporting player in Apple's lineup, but the central piece in its AI ecosystem. Some analysts have even speculated that Apple could market the new Mac Mini as the gateway to Apple. Intelligence, giving users the performance they need to access next-gen Mac OS features, without splurging on a Mac Studio or Mac Pro, but the leaks don't stop there. A few reports out of Asia have hinted at radical improvements in the connectivity department. The M5 Mac Mini could introduce Thunderbolt 5, a new standard offering up to 80 gigabits per second of data bandwidth, double what Thunderbolt 4 provided. That's enough to power dual 6K displays or even an 8K monitor with ease. There's also talk of HDMI 2.2 support for true 8K output, Wi-Fi 7 for ultra-fast wireless performance, and Bluetooth 5.4 for improved device pairing stability. And perhaps most exciting of all, Apple might finally upgrade the Ethernet port to support 10 Gigai as standard across all configurations, not just the high-end models. These aren't headline-grabbing upgrades on their own, but for professionals who rely on stable, high-speed data transfer and connectivity, they're huge. Pricing, as always, is where the real speculation begins. According to reliable analysts, Apple might retain its entry-level price of $599.99 for the base M5. Mac Mini, keeping it one of the most affordable ways to enter Apple's ecosystem, while offering the M5 Pro starting around $1,099, depending on configuration. The rumored M5 Ultra variant, if it ever makes it out of Apple's labs, could push closer to $1,999 or more, depending on how it fits within the company's overall product stack. What's interesting is how this pricing could strategically position the M5 Mac Mini as both a consumer and professional device, flexible, scalable, and accessible. It could easily become the go-to desktop for coders, small studios, and even businesses running multiple workstations all without the need for bulky towers or expensive GPUs. And then there's the question everyone's been asking, when will it launch? Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and several other insiders suggest that the M5 chip family will make its debut across Apple's product line in late 2025, likely starting with the M5 MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. The Mac Mini traditionally follows a few months later. So a release window of early 2026 feels highly likely, possibly announced at a spring event. But given Apple's unpredictable timing and the growing competition from companies like Qualcomm, Intel, and NVIDIA, Apple might choose to surprise everyone with an earlier reveal, maybe even a December 2025 announcement if production stays on schedule, and that's just the beginning.